Hi guys, back again with me, Austin from My Boy at Heart. Today I'm going to share to you my experience on Hasbro's Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch scale base Malbus figure. This is based on the Rogue One movie, and base is along with his partner Chirrut, was part of the Guardian of the Wills, which they used to guard the Temple of Kyber in Jeddah. Alright. So let's take a closer look at the packaging first. This is the current standard of Black Series uh, packaging, both scales, base marbles, the artwork down here. Sorry, it's not the best packaging that I have, but I care more about the figure, the base marbles. So that's not really a problem with me. And let's take a look at the bio. If you can read it, you can read it by yourself. Partiality, pragmatic, soldier, blah blah blah, have a repeated canon and so he became very pragmatic with his belief of the force although he was part of the guardian of the wells uh, although uh, in contrast to Chirrut of course but at the end of his life I think he regained his faith so without further ado let's take a Let's look at the figure itself. Let's start from the face first. I think the scalp is not bad. The paint it needs, it can use a little bit more touches into it, but at least I feel that the eyes is painted not really bad. Not the best, but that's okay, I guess. And the paint on the beard is okay. So, quite resembles the actual actor in the movie. So I'm fine with that. Um, this piece of the hair is rubbery, so probably won't hinder much of the articulation. And the mold on the hair is normally superb. And oh, you can see that is tight. He has a bit of a knot there on his hair, which is something that I'm not really aware of. This is the very first time I'm looking at it on the figure here as well. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay. Well, it's not bad. Mm, this part looks awesome. Can feel the molding details there. I think the mold on the body is superb. He is filled with so many accessories molded on him. Uh, you can see this. Not sure what it is with the wires here. I'm not sure what this is as well, but looks awesome on him. Um, and this looks like a lot of devices going on on his body and it's all molded into one piece and yep there's a big hole there I'll explain that later on so not sure what this is but it looks great on me on him mm, there's a shoulder pad molded uh, uh, nicely as well the, I like the that they put a lot of shading and put a lot of weathering on the clothes aside from the molded details and the wrinkles which are very nice he has a knee pad here and yeah I think that the hand also is quite nice the trigger palm is on the right of course mm, the pocket is nicely painted as well nice shading um, well, it's kind of rubbery, so we'll see if it hinders the articulation. A uh, bit of decoration, knee pad as well on the right. So pockets, I like his pants as well, painted with a lot of uh, dirt of Jedha there, which is nice, which stays true to the characters and his boots. So he has this very good uh, Star Wars as kind of bunny hunter which is cool in my opinion now he came with several accessories of course uh, I'll start with this tiny thing which I think if you remember my video on Rose she has the same thing and I think I suspect that this is either a communication thing or it's a taser and it seems to be the taser 
it has a peg here which you can attach on his back there's a peg hole there uh, and you can make him grip it really nice grips really nice it holds very nicely as well and let's try it is sculpted on the back in a certain way so you have to pay attention to that look at that and look at the peg holes so we know the designer way to pack it in okay it needs a bit of effort at first but now it works very well. nice oh by the way uh, the mold is okay kind of rubbery oh not really it's very stiff very stiff here uh, but the paint is just like that metallic but that's okay i guess it's cool more like a bronze color to my uh, bare naked eyes which is cool all right and then we have a whole set of his heavy cannon repeater which consists of of course the rifle of the or the cannon itself which looks like a shotgun uh, modernized with technology i like the red paint details here which is weathered in a way um, it's good that they don't just paint it plain uh, gray metallic but they put in a bit more detail with the red it, it has a lot more it has a trigger hole there so we'll see there's a hole down there I'll explain a bit on that later on let's try to grab it on the right palm the trigger finger by the way doesn't seem to um, go inside the trigger hole but uh, it can be gripped okay it won't fall easily but somewhat because of because of the looseness on my figure look at this can be a bit troublesome so uh, it's very minor but I wish it can be better see the swivel on the palm cannot even hold this cannon so that's a, that's a bit of a shame again it's very minor but it's there okay anyway it can be gripped very nicely okay and then there's also a part which looks like this is basically the quartz which connects to the um, generator backpack here it seems to generate power which empowers the rival through these quartz okay all right so what we're gonna do to now we're gonna look at the quartz just briefly it is molded quite nicely a uh, bit rubbery but very I, I can feel that it's quite secure so don't worry playing around with it okay he has two packs on each side so we'll see about it later on and this is the backpack generator i like the red paints all over it it's cool i guess I'm not sure how accurate this is but you can see a bit of wiring there and yeah i'm not sure if it's supposed to be bent like that but it is there so there's a piece of his clothing molded on this um which is fine i guess it's kind of rubbery not much paint detail there um not much yeah i mean he has wrinkles but it just just like that okay reminds me of Boba Fett you know uh, very solid not sure what this is but it's kind of rubbery and it has a huge pack holes so that's why it's gonna be attached to his back here and as back down here will connect to the cords the look uh, make sure that you pay attention to the how it's shaped it is shaped in a certain way with the hole and the pack so you can pay better attention to it and let's see this one <laughs> put it in and it will yes it will connect very nicely quite deep i like that okay and this part is also sculpted in a certain way the same with the hole so make sure you pay attention to that because will determine how the course is 
compact and it is secure as well so this is a good feature and lastly of course we have to peg in uh, I like the fact that it's very big so it stays and it's quite deep by the way uh, so it's also sculpted in certain way so you know which way it's going to be but it's very obvious I think all right so this is cool right is it packs in really nicely and it's tight so don't worry it won't be loose yes we can put him on a shooting position not a sniping position but it is a decent shooting position with both hands um, there are a few things that need to be taken into consideration for me uh, first is the right sorry the left palm needs to be stretched out to be able to grip on the heavy can repeater right and then the, this part is be, I think it's because the joint on the wrist on mine is rather loose it's a bit difficult sometimes to make it hold and the grip seems to be uh, I mean this one is the grip is on this one is obviously is tighter than this one and that way sometimes it makes it makes it a little bit difficult to pose it like this still doable do um, the grip won't be perfect but still is is not a bad position on camera and then another thing is that uh, because of the connection here which is very very cool um, sometimes I don't like this kind of mechanism but it works very well it's very tight um, and the cord here which connects to the generator is very tight as well so um, can be a, can be make it much stiffer also to pose him into this position but so far it works for the articulation the head is I think it's supposed to be on a ball with a hinge down here as always but um, because of the molded details here of the armor or the, on the face um, the movement can be limited you can move this much downward okay but upward not so much really but at least you can look straight to the front and side to side not so much but you can still turn it around 360 okay so that's fine um don't worry with the shoulder pad here you can still move this much upward this one of course is better by adjusting to the hinge it's a ball hinge joint as usual you can do you can stretch to the back and you can have full rotation as well okay the elbow you can bend this much not bad with rotation the wrist you can turn around 360 then I think I suppose it came with a swivel a bit of a hinge but because of the molded detail, yep, this one moves to the side, whereas this one moves up and down. Uh, mind you, though, mine is quite loose, so it can be a bit troublesome when handling the heavy can repeater, which is kind of sad. I'll try to fix him if I can. Um, there's rotation up here. I don't think there's much movement, but we have rotation. You can kind of force him to do full rotation if you move this part, this fair robbery, luckily. And then, and then yep, uh, up here, this is the limitation of the figure. Not much movement to the side. This is the split opening that we have, yep, this much only kind of sad but you still let me try the uh, front kick on the right is like this much the back is only this much front kick on the left is much better because uh, and then you can move the no, nothing much as well to the back you have rotation up here as always um, kind of tight but still works uh, you can bend the knee this much is double jointed knee so I think that's good mm, no rotation down here but we have 
downward upward if is hindered but we have uh, what do you call this uh, rock wrinkle so that's pretty much it with the articulation the figure measures to the top of his hair I think around 6 inch scale yeah around that 6 inch scale of probably 5.9 something or 5.9 around that okay so very standard by the way, to get him stand is a bit more difficult. You have to make the uh, ankle open a little bit because the upward uh, ankle motion is doesn't is not existent. By the way, uh, you have to make more opening so that the center of balance can go to the front more because of the backpack. All right. So let's compare him with some flower figures from the rook one. This is Cation, this version. This is Cation, Edu, and the normal version. Alright, and then compare to uh, that trooper, normally it's taller. And then compared to Gina, so this version, Edu version, I mean. Uh, and this is the his normal version, her normal version, to the version I guess, and then compared to K2SO, which is generally taller than everyone, really, and of course the perhaps another character, uh, Sokatano. Alright, and compared to Marvel Legends, which is generally taller. So overall, I really like this figure, because I like Rook 1, but um, the, I think the mold details on the whole character is very nice. I like the weather look, I always weather looks, I always love weather looks on uni his uniform. Uh, sculpted details on the vest or armors, the accessories working accessories i like that and of course although uh, there's a bit of quality control problem with the wrist here which can be better it's still a functional figure with a bit of hard work <laughs> here and there to put him with both hands into a shooting position it's still a very solid figure of course there's another issue that is to to stand him up uh, very limited possibility on the on the hip by the way, on the way on the hip, yeah, I I wish we have more openings here, so that it can stand more easily. But again, still functional, and I really like this video. So thanks guys for watching. I'm Austin from Boy at Heart. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Goodbye.